Okay, people are just here to do a quick tutorial on how to use the item slot text. Now what the item slot text does is allows you to create your own custom categories. Like currently I have the witch doctor gear, the wizard gear sets, the monk gear, the demon hunter, you know, so on, so on, so on, blah, 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 blah. It's, uh, of course I got my legendary gems. Now for some odd reason it put all this other stuff way up top. Here's my keys and other consumables. It's like uh, the dyes and whatever. Um, here's my crafting materials category. Anyways, let's get to this. So what you want to do, let me delete this so I can show you. What you want to do, go to your your folder that your Diablo 3 save editor is in. <coughs> now what you want to do is take this item slot text you can create a shortcut on the desktop this way you don't have to constantly keep going and looking for it now once you're inside all the instructions on how to do it it's pretty freaking simple I mean any idiot can do it it uh, see it says format of each line should be index number index number that's this here okay well minus the little hashtag thing <sighs> that's a pound symbol freaking Twitter change it to a hashtag so anyways for all you kids that don't know it is a pound symbol it's a hashtag uh, so basically we're gonna I'm just gonna do a test one here okay now it, from what the instructions say it's index number then you press the tab key then you do a, a great I mean an equal sign then hit the tab key again and in your category name so we're going to put in, I'm going to put in just a random number. We're going to put in 1, 2, 3, 4. We're going to hit tab. Now tab will be a big space. Do the equal sign. Hit tab again. Now we'll name it. Now when you name it, you have to put the underscore. If you're going to put, you know, whatever. So we got stupid items. I probably don't want it to be 1, 2, 3, 4 since all this is up here. So I'm going to put that as, we'll put it at 2, 2, 3, 4. That works. Okay, so there you go. Now once you save it, it this will show up in the game. Oops, hold on. <coughs> Oof. Didn't expect that one. I think I got that all over my mic. <laughs> So anyways, now once you save it, this category, whatever category you choose to make, now as an example, uh, he already has in, I think, 1400, which is named like, I don't remember what it is, but I've done named it to damage gems, you know, I got my specialty gems, so on, so on. So I'm going to take this out, you know, you got the point. You can easily copy and paste if you don't get the whole, you know, simple, simple instructions. Like I said, any idiot can do this seriously and I just showed you how to do it um, you can just copy you know control C make a space and then control V and to paste and then you just change the number by oops shoot hit tab again change the number by whatever we're gonna say 1402 I've already got a 1402 so I'm just deleting this anyways you know easy enough and then you give it a, your category a name uh, now stuff like this with the little hashtag in front of it this does not show up in the editor as long as you got a hashtag in front of it, it will not show up in the editor now these are the things that show up because these are there these are already in the game you can't change that it won't won't take this out of the editor at all but this here like say later on you got like a category you don't know you just name it you know 1404 1405 and put the little hashtag in front of it this will keep it from showing up in the editor like I'll show you in a second now that we've got this see I got all my stuff here close that down we'll go back to the editor now of course there's your you know cosmetics wings and stuff still on a black background because for some odd reason I'm having an issue where it's not showing with a new gray background which I requested thank you CKY for putting that in there if I could ever get it to work. Let's see, I got my wizard gear. Now let's say let's say you're going to be doing a lot of, you know, making sets. 
you want to just quickly add this. Now what you do, we're going to go up here to an item, just a, any item. That's a witch doctor item. Now I'm not going to actually, I'll just put this in the promo section for now. Okay, uh, I'll, do, I'll use a nun. Okay, anyways, go to your locker, I mean go to your properties, go to properties. And go to item slot. You'll scroll down, scroll down here, and you'll see all the different categor mm, categories. Ooh, hiccups. Sneezing, hiccups. What else can go wrong? What do I got? A fart in this video? So, okay, now you got your promo items. Now, save. Now, when you scroll down, here's my promo items, and there it is. And these are all my promo items I've added. Ta da! Now, let's say that you've got like this test ring category. Now what I did, I just created, I created like one test ring and then you can copy and paste like a whole bunch. Now you just highlight all of them and then change it to the test ring category or whatever your category is. Okay when you save it, even if it's named like all this stuff here is named different stuff, it'll rename it to one item. So don't, you don't want to do that. You want to do it individually. So if you're doing this individually, what you want to do is go back to your save file. Now you'll have to reload the editor though once you do this. Like see I got a 1 here in front of cosmetics and wings. Now if you put a 2 in front of any, any numbers, 1 through 0 work fine. I don't know about any other keys, you know. See 1, 2, 3, we'll do that, okay. Now when you, when you close the editor and then reload it, those categories will show up. Now watch, when I click on this here, I go to item slot, if I press 1, see it takes me straight to cosmetics, wings and stuff. Ta-da! Right? Works perfectly. Um, uh, other than that, you know, like I said, you can name your other categories. You know, Crusader gear, you can put a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, a 6, you know. You can this way if you got like maybe we'll come across we'll come across like uh, we got this marauder set so we can go here hit locker and hit you know I'm hitting one because it's the only one that I can actually do it'll take you straight to whichever set you have it for you know your demon hunter simple enough right so anyways that is about it for the tutorial like I said pretty simple uh, if you have any other questions you know please send me a message Oh no, just don't, don't send me a message. Post on CodePlex and let me know. Uh, and I'll try to help you. If you found this video in any way helpful, please subscribe. It's, uh, and good luck.